If green power sources, like solar and wind, are to replace fossil fuels at a global scale, power plants generating electricity based on those renewable resources, need to be able to provide a constant, reliable and predictable output to the electrical network. Due to high variability and randomness of solar radiation and wind speeds, those requirements were until now difficult to achieve. To compensate for those fluctuations, a buffer of intermediate power storage is needed, capable to efficiently absorb, store and provide vast amounts of energy, yet until now, the only available solutions were limited to using low-performance, high-cost battery banks. For green power plants to become main providers of the electrical networks, such limitations need to be overcome by developing viable solutions in the field of large power storage systems. Such a viable solution, and as of now the most promising, is the one proposing usage of pure hydrogen gas as an intermediate medium, capable to absorb excess green electricity by means of water electrolysis, store it for as long as it's needed as chemical potential, and finally, deliver it back to the network, in order to achieve the much-needed constant power output required for maintaining electrical grid balance. By using water and green electricity, generated by an array of solar panels or by wind turbines, an alkaline electrolyzer splits water molecules into its constituents, generating oxygen, that is discarded into the atmosphere, and pure hydrogen, that is stored in pressurized tanks. Able to scale its hydrogen production levels as needed, an electrolyzer is acting as a dynamic balance on the electrical network, able to increase or decrease its power consumption to balance the grid. The L Integration Research Project, an international effort conducted by Aragon Hydrogen Foundation, Industry Oak Technology, the Flemish Institute for Technological Research, the Fraunhofer Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials, Instrumentation and Components, and the Institute of Power Systems and Power Economics of the Aachen University, had the objective of researching the technologies needed to overcome current limitations. The general objective of the project was to design a robust, flexible monostack alkaline electrolyzer, economically competitive and able to produce 4.5 metric tons of hydrogen a day, and thus creating the ability for the whole installation to deliver megawatt-scale electrical service to the network. To accomplish that objective, during the analysis phase, there have been taken into account several aspects, such as the regulatory framework for the integration of electrolyzers into electricity power grids, current energy tariffs and end-users scenarios business cases derived from this technology implementation, a life cycle cost of the system based on financial capex, opex identified considerations, and the general impact of the technologies developed. In addition, the design of the megawatt system weighed in several factors, such as the conception and simulation of a balance of plant able to work under high dynamic conditions, the cost optimization for sizing strategy, materials, efficiency, transport and external processes, stack improvements so that the electrolyzer can function under variable loads, for which new materials, electrodes and membranes were developed, as well as improving the assembly procedures. The development and implementation of a control system, able to simulate the reception of requests from grid operators to provide grid services, so that the system can give uninterrupted service to Spain Electrical Network. The design of accelerated stress test conditions, or ASTs, to evaluate the durability of the new materials under highly variable load conditions. The trial testing phase was conducted at industrial scale, and the capability of the system to function according to the requests of the national electricity grid was demonstrated. The newly developed materials were selected based on progressive testing on various scale levels. We started at the laboratory scale, by characterizing electrodes, optimizing their electrochemical properties, as well as the membranes, looking at the porosity, pore distribution, permeability, and so on. Then we scaled to a mini pilot phase, where the electrodes and membranes were assembled in a stack, and we proceeded with its testing. Upsizing to pilot scale meant to design and to erect a new test bench able to operate up to 25 kilowatts, 60 bars, 90 degrees Celsius and a production of 3.5 normal cubic meter of hydrogen per hour. 
The 10 kW stack, assembled with the most promising advanced electrodes and the novel membranes, was further validated by testing and studying its performance under accelerated stress conditions based on a selected grid service. Finally, we've upscaled the best candidate off to market size where in an industrial plant we validated the control and communication system and demonstrated the provision of electricity grid services. We also proposed and tested at this scale new cell assemblies with the aim of increasing the efficiency of the electrolysis stack. By evaluating the network service of megawatt-size alkaline water electrolyzers, the L-Integration project has developed nine business cases, experimentally tested newly developed materials and cell topologies and designed and constructed two new ore test benches. A multi-megawatt high-pressure alkaline electrolyzer has been designed, its operation under partial loads associated with electricity grid services provision, simulated, and a control and communication system able of interchanging information with national network operators and control the operation of the system, implemented.